Uh, ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everybody! Welcome to Super Chill. Uh, we're playing Viscera Cleanup Detail. Uh, a lot of people were asking me to play this game. I don't know why... I'm not a, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I don't like cleaning up at the best of time, let alone computer cleaning up. And we're cleaning up after... Oh, God. A very messy Santa Claus. What's going on here? Attention. Do not put gum on the device. Okay. Well, we have a happy... A happy little radio. Oh, no. Oh, God. Who even made all this mess? Okay, right. We, uh... We've got to be systematic about this. Bins? Can I have a bin, please? Maybe let's just, like, assess some of the damage. Oh, God. There's so much stuff in here. Uh, oh god. Oh, okay. Don't worry about that. Wow. Oh, TNT. Don't mind if I do. Okay, right. Do we just, like, clean out, clean out one room at a time? That probably makes sense. We want to, like, be done with the room. Get out of there. You little body. Those antlers are going to annoy me. So, come on, antlers. Sir, please. Okay, we're good. So I guess... Start down there? Right. I'm pretty sure I remember how to play this. I have not played this game in a long time. Or maybe we just start up here. Okay, right. Just... Get this stuff out of here. Can you... Oh, Can you throw in this? Maybe. Uh, well... All the junk has got to go. Wow, that is some very vibrant paper. Do I need to clear up all of that stuff? Wow, that lighting effect. Ooh. Uh, sure. Or is it better just to get, a, like, a bin up there? Okay, right, we're doing it. So, welcome. I hope everyone's having a merry um, winter, wintermas. Um, uh, Sangular's Day, if you are in Warhammer 40,000, uh, Festarg. Oh, buddy, you're not having a good Festarg, are you? But then again, you are some kind of disgusting little mutant, so, you know, you don't deserve to have a good, a good Festarg. You're kind of, like, not going in the box properly. Come on, buddy. We can't be, like, stumbling on this first hurdle. Oh, jeez. This is kind Oh, God. <laughs> uh, hello. This is kind of how I remember uh, Viscera Cleanup being. There we go. Okay, right. Little elf. Will you go in the box for me, please? Nice! Come on! <laughs> okay, right. We're, we're gonna... We're gonna get there, eventually. Oh, cool. Two elves. Okay, that's only half an elf. How many elves do you fit in a box? Not two and a half, apparently. Uh, there you go. Hello. Uh, so yeah, I hope everyone's having a just a just a wonderful time, and better than oh, a gun. Okay, uh, that probably has something to do with the mess that has happened here. Okay, the box is getting pretty full. That might be a bit full. Yeah. Uh, okay, we've got to be careful moving around. And can I just burn you? Is that what I'm supposed to do? God, well, I'm not going to check. So we might get to the end of this and realize we have not done this properly. Okay. That is just nightmare fuel right there. The little burning elf. Are you burning up? Can we burn the glass? Great. Uh, yeah, so... What a year. What a year it's been. Uh, you know, uh, the madness has definitely kicked in. Um, that is... God, that is the truth. Okay, just load more things into the fire. Can we check how far through we are with this? Is that on... This machine. Except. 
Make your choice. I used to do four, more for my company. Give me some paperwork to fill out for extra mark. What? Requires the company as well as your own. Sure. Great. What is this? Please fill in the particulars of the IR8 form accurately. Service company records. Severity of the incident you worked on. I thought that was like a cool way to, uh... To check... Check your progress. Come on, buddy. You had your chance. You failed working for Santa. And now you are working for me. Uh, well, not really. You're burning. Burning for me. Oop. There we go. God, it feels bad burning all the furniture. Oh, you're a cool guy. Hello. How you doing? Great. You know, you could give this stuff a wipe down. Uh, it might be okay. You know, or sell it secondhand. Someone would love all these bespoke little um, elf stools, right? Not me, though. Ugh. Elves. Gross. Oh, no. There's another room. I do want to... Can we die? Uh, there. Jesus! Okay, so it turns out... Death is a thing. Oh my god, have I got to start again? Oh no. No, we're okay. It... I think... I think we're fine. Alright, we're, we're okay. Just, that probably wasn't the right move. Okay, we'll just launch everything down. Okay, great. Boxes, please. Uh, here we go. Cool. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it's been a been a been a wild year. Uh, we're just gonna like ramble around. This is not gonna have much structure. Uh, you're probably familiar with how Captain Distracto works, and when there is no editing, it is just a thousand times worse because you see the madness of the train of thought that goes on. Uh, I feel like I should have brought another bucket up here. Come on. Oh God, there's a lot of, a lot of dead boys. And we're gonna need mops, aren't we? I remember mopping uh, just being the worst as I would knock over my thing and then bloody footprints everywhere. There was an option to limit the amount of footprints that were available. I should have turned that right down, but I set it to unlimited because that would mean less cleaning, right? Uh, can we get a little present in there? Like, I don't think Santa wants any of this. Mr. Santa, it was a good year, so I want a pony and a bike. And a clarinet too. Timmy Slugbottom. Sorry, Timmy. Uh, I don't know where your clarinet would be, but it is probably not on this way. Um... I don't quite know the law of what happened here, whether Santa went crazy. Like, these guys, you don't look like you worked here. So maybe the elves put up a bit of resistance, but I think someone was on the naughty list and they were not happy about that. Man, this, this song has like got a real jam to it. I like this. Oh, let's get more buckets. Maybe we'll just bring a couple up. Oh, can we put a box inside a box? I mean, I guess no. What are you? Are we supposed to collect things? Oh, God. Uh, too late to start thinking about that. I want to see if I can carry two buckets up. But it might be one of those situations where, you know, two trips are... Two trips are faster than trying to manage it all in one. You know you know what I mean? When you're trying to take all your shopping and you're like, ooh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just try and get everything in one go and it is exponentially harder than if you were to just do it sensibly and do it in two trips. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. My parents say I was very good. 
do not care, because there are no gifts for you. Uh, little shotgun shells. Right, get in there. That wasn't even close. Get in there. Was there anything else down there? No. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, it's been, been, um, been an interesting one, is where we were going. Uh, you know, I'm sure everyone has had their their own interesting experiences. Um, like the light, being kind of kind of bad, but you know we're not here to lament on the sad times. We're here to celebrate the good times by cleaning up, cleaning up this hot mess. Come on, that gun is not efficiently in there. Uh, go in like that. Great. And this cool ogre dude. I like that like that model. Um, I'd let him be in my Warhammer army. What is that? Oh no, there's more elves. Okay, get out of here. Who tried to hide them? I guess they started out doing it like stealth mode, and then... Then got real bored, real quick. Uh, that's a bit like me. Man, just, I'm not like a stealth... Stealth style person. I get a bit like, a bit too tense doing stealth missions. Um, it's too slow, and when someone does finally, like, spot you, it... I'm more prone to being startled, and... So that's why I kind of generally go in all guns blazing. I think, like, every single Metal Gear Solid game I've played, uh, if they give you, like, the animal rating, um, uh, I always get given the shark rating. And it's always it says, like, you left a bloodbath behind you and killed everyone. And, like, yeah, that's that's true. You know, that's, that's a pretty uh, appropriate write-up for me because... Uh, yeah, you know, if you can just walk around and kill everyone on the level, that is, it just takes less time. Less time to do than, uh, like, oh, come on, than all the time that you spend, like, sneaking and trying to get past people. If everyone's dead, there's no one to spot you, right? At least that's my, my kind of mindset. Um... I think that's why, in, uh, when we played Subnautica, I think, like, maybe I touched upon this before. So I was kind of thinking of doing a, like, a review video at the end of it, but ended up changing my mind. And it was the first time I've, like, really written a script for a video. Um, because normally I just, just wing it. Uh, just turn up and... Hope for the best. Is that little green box gonna fall off? Okay, I think I think it went inside. Uh, these guys are looking pretty full. We're gonna take them down. God, it's janky. Maybe we should have cleared this this room out first, so it's easier to spot stuff. I don't know. We're almost up there, which is two percent of the level. Um, but yeah, so it was gonna. Um, thinking about doing, like, a review thing. Give my thoughts, because it's been ooh, a while since I've played, played a game quite like that, and, oh god, uh, you know, uh, it was, it's a game that a lot of people have played, you know, everyone's got their own thoughts and opinions, and, um, uh, was suddenly let known how I was not playing the game that was supposed to be played um, frequently uh, in the comments. And so what would to kind of like give my my hot take on uh, what I what I thought of it. But I ended up like not not putting that out. Um, we got got the script together, had done a pass of recording audio. Oh is that Santa's foot? Oh okay well Santa you're gone. Uh, but yeah, so this ties in, because one of the parts of that video was going to be sort of roughly talking about 
the what do I call it? What are they called? The the Leviathans. Was it the Reaper Leviathan? Or am I thinking of something completely different? It, the big guys, um, Lord Chompy Bits, as he was dubbed, uh, and the you know a mindset of the game is that you aren't supposed to kill kill those guys uh, because you don't get any benefits from it. You know, you're supposed to live in nature. You're supposed to, you know, not take advantage of this beautiful world. Um, but yeah, the hot, hot reason that people said that you shouldn't do it was because it doesn't give you anything. And, man, I would argue it actually gave you a lot. Uh, sure, it doesn't drop materials, but killing uh, killing the big guys, especially the, the ghost, ghost reapers, is that? They were like the transparent ones. Killing those off down in the underwater areas, it meant every time you had to go back through that area, you didn't have to sneak around it. You didn't have to worry about uh, that thing sneaking up on you, potentially attacking your ship. And so you could be lazier with, you know, keep more loot inside your craft uh, because you're not. It's not going to get destroyed. You know, sure, little guys can attack it a bit, but. You know, if you die to them, then that's kind of more on you. It's only the big guys that you really, really need to worry about. And so, yeah, like, I know there's a hot debate on whether they respawn or not, but the ones that I killed off definitely didn't come back. And, yeah, I think that was such a big, big bonus for killing. Uh, maybe, maybe you don't agree with that, that idea, but if it makes the game easier to play, you know, isn't that why you do everything, like, in games? Um, you... Come on, big present, get in there. You know, you get a better gun, so you damage enemies faster. Uh, you kill them off quicker. Uh, you level up your stats, you get better armor, so you don't take as much damage. Um, killing off the, uh... Killing off the guys, it just meant that you could, like, speed around so much more. I mean, that was, that was like, my thought on why... Anyone who thinks that you shouldn't kill those guys is wrong, and uh, that I was maybe not right, but justified in my my reasons. Um, also, you know, if you, if you can kill it, someone's gonna try. Uh, maybe you're not supposed to, but I thought it, I thought it was okay. And yeah, so that was the tangent tangent looped back around. Why the uh, killing off um, enemies in stealth games I like to do because it means I can explore around, find more stuff, and uh, then not have to worry about them later is is a big pro. I don't know. Like I do appreciate. Like that was the only time that broke the mold for me was. Um, playing Dishonored. Uh, I've only played the first Dishonored. Um, man, loved it. Loved that setting. Uh, I'm a big, big fan of kind of like, uh, kind of Victorian era sort of style stuff. Uh, you know, alternate reality. Um, really, really good. But that was a game that had a very tangible, you know, if you kill people, it's really bad. Uh, oh God. What is that little guy? I need... Oh, it's a gift. There we go. Because the more people you killed in that game, it meant, like, more... More of the, like, uh, rat monsters would turn up. And... So then it kind of makes the game harder later if you do kill stuff. And so it ended up just doing a pure pacifist run, which I very rarely do in games. That's not really my, uh... Not really my style. Um, unless they give you really cool pacifist tools. Um, generally, you know, a lot of the game, they have great killing tools, and that's that's kind of why you're playing, playing the game. You want to experience as many of the mechanics as possible. This candle can go fuck itself. Get off there. Why are you sticking? Come on, please. 
Do I need to bring a stool over? Come on. Okay, it's good that I didn't destroy all of my stools. Sir? Uh... Okay, we might have to put some TNT in there to free that, because I feel like that is gonna be stuck. Stuck forever. Yeah, I don't know. Like, you know, it's different different playstyles for different people. Uh, everyone likes different kind of things. You know, how terribly neutral of me. Um, but that, that was actually, like, one of the other reasons why I didn't want to do the... The Subnautica, like, breakdown uh, review idea. Because, uh, you know, I don't, really, I don't really like the idea of anyone seeing me as a games reviewer or anything like that. Sure, when I'm playing games, I will complain about stuff. Or I will say I really like games. But, uh, you know, I don't ever want people to, you know, take... Oh... Uh, I should have taken the blade out by itself. That would have been neater. Okay, right. Let's just finish up here. Um, yeah, although, like, we'll, you know, say, if you liked watching this, check out that game. Um, or, you know, we'll sometimes, um, you know, do brand deals where I play play a game. Uh, can I Can I crouch? Is that... How do I get you? Is there a crouch button? That looks like a thing that I'm never going to be able to reach. Oh, nuts. Okay, up here is... Oh. Almost cleared. Oh, God. Is that going to set fire to stuff? Perfect. That is just what I wanted. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, because I think, you know, reviewing games, you got to be a bit, like, a bit smarter. Uh, you know, know, know more about the subject... Than, um, than I do, and like you know, the, the games that I get into, I know maybe aren't the super mainstream games, and so a little bit, a little bit more niche. Uh, and so yeah, didn't you know? Didn't feel like you know throwing my two cents of uh, Subnautica into the pile was really going to add any value. Um, like I probably wouldn't have watched that video. And so, uh, wouldn't expect other people to. I don't know, I'm just kind of rambling. Uh, this is the nature of Super Chill. You know, I'm sure already uh, you've gone off to make a cup of tea. And uh, maybe uh, already asleep. Because that is, you know, what uh, people do when listening to my oh, monotonous voice. God, how long have... It's taken us like... 20 minutes to clear that little room up there. Oh, I should be using buckets again, right? Um, the bins. Maybe we just brick up that area. God, there's so much stuff. And some people find these kind of games really relaxing. I just find it stressful. Oh, oh man, like, that's a good bit of venison, I'm guessing. Although, I'm guessing the, uh, Santa's reindeer probably worked pretty hard. So it might be a bit chewy. Sloshomatic. I don't know if we want to use you yet. Uh, where did we find some more dynamite? I want to see if I can get upstairs and blow up. Blow up stuff. Man, it's this jam again. Love it. Uh. Uh oh. <laughs> but I think we'll be able to get up there. Oh! Oh, we kind of got it. Okay, I feel like the mop is how we're going to get our boy. <gasps> oh! There we go. We did it. Okay, I think up here is clear now. In the fire you go. Alright, let's get some bins and start cleaning out uh, Santa's office. Okay, it's a bloody room, but we can... Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Did we miss? Okay, come on, Elfo. You know what? Let's just save everyone a bit of time and just 
throw you in the fire to begin with. I think that's going to be easier. Uh, I'm in jail again. Need bail money. It sucks to be you, because uh, that is not my problem. Maybe Santa. Oh, God. Okay, we're probably missing out on all the rich lore, uh, but not an issue for me, because I'll please just go in. Are they all going to fall off? Can I just wiggle? Okay, the wiggle, two out of three successes. Uh, pow. Not what we wanted. Oh god, there's so many letters. That's fine. This is all just going in the trash. I wish we could do like just like scoop all of this stuff in one go. But we are gonna do it one at a time instead. Um, but yeah, so uh, that was a video that we. Um, I say we. I always say we. Sometimes uh, people mention it in the comments, but it's kind of like just a little subconscious collective thing. We're all in this together, kind of, rather than just saying I. Um, or me. Uh, okay, right. We're a little bit full. But that's that's alright. Uh, yeah, you know, it's just a little turn of phrase. Um, but yeah, so that was one of the video ideas. There's a couple of like other things uh, in the works at the moment. Um, none of it can go too, ah, uh, come on, too hard into. But I'm like loosely looking at starting a couple of like other channels um, because I want to do some weirder stuff and that isn't just kind of like regular gameplay things. And I think because of how, you know, YouTube algorithm things work. God damn it. No. There we go. Uh... Like, diversifying too much in one place is kind of really bad. Really bad for the health of a channel. Um, like, already, playing, like, a big variety of games isn't super hot. You know, if I stuck only to strategy games, it'd probably be okay, or, you know, everything was FPSs. Is that a Molotov? When would you want to use a Molotov? Jeez! Okay, we're just making more mess. I was hoping to, like, burn all of that stuff down. How are we going to get that boy up there? Uh, as I get distracted. Oh. Oh, God. We probably could have done it. Great. Come here, buddy. Uh, in the fire you go. Oh, there's another one of these dudes. Like, random army guy. Or... Mutant or something. I don't know. Oh, uh, maybe those were their boots. It wasn't Santa's boot. Or maybe we just found Santa's legs. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but yeah, so some other other things. Um, I had spoken about it before. And it was going to be one of the big plans that I had for this year of wanting to be launching a separate Little Cities channel. Because I've been working on some, like, side stuff around that sort of idea. Um, but with uh, lockdowns and things like that, it meant actually recording it was a lot harder. And come on. Yeah, like just other, other distractions had come up just through the process of the year. Uh, slowly, slowly going mad at the same time. Can you go in? Okay, that's probably full enough. And so yeah, didn't get to work on work on that nearly as much. Um, and really wanted to. Uh, was really hot to do some more of that little city stuff. Uh, would definitely let everyone know, you know, when and where to find it out. But uh, it is not a thing yet. Um, but wanted to, you know, have that as like a separate channel where, you know, once every 
two months, let's say, we would put up videos. And... Yeah, so it wouldn't be a mainstream thing, and it probably wouldn't make any money, but it would be a fun... I don't know, just like a fun, a fun project. Uh... Oh! This is a different type of broom. Uh, sure. Uh, do I want to leave... Will we ever want fire later? The answer is maybe. Uh, you don't go in the bin. Uh, so yeah, the... Doing more, like, little city stuff, and... Uh, that was, uh, something. Something I really wanted to do. Um, had been... Uh like, working with a 3D printing, uh, person. Uh, not 3D printing person, like a 3D modeler, um, who had designed some, like, specific buildings for me to make some, some cities. Like, I had some extra, oh wow, we got Chief. Uh, and I got some other bits together to do, like, themed videos, themed cities. Um, I wanted to try out some just, like, different, different kind of, like, styles. Oh! Oh, I was hoping that we would have a shotgun that we could use to clean, like a... for sweeping. What were they called? Street Sweeper? Was that the AA-12? I don't know, I don't really know that much about guns. Um, I know that if it was a gun in Counter-Strike at some point, I might know its name. That's basically it. Let's try this guy out again. Uh, so yeah, one of the other channels that... was thinking about. God, did we always smash our radio? Okay, you go over there. Uh, yeah, I wanted to make a stupid dice... I know I just went on a uh, subject about, you know, I don't want to do reviews, so instantly uh, hypocriting my way out of that, but do a dice review channel. Is that going to explode? Or is that just going to burn? But it would be very satirical. Uh, it would not be serious at all. If you were actually there looking for information on dice, it would not be super helpful. I think it was just, it was, the uh, the thought was, it was just an excuse to, um, uh, so I can buy dice and justify it. Uh, because right now, I just buy dice. But if I can say that I'm doing it for a reason, oh then, you know, it makes more sense, surely. And, you know, then can write it off as a tax tax expense, uh, I think. You know, if it's being used in videos, I don't think they're going to catch me. Uh, probably not. Are you blood or just random wall textures? Oh, we made a classic mopping error here. Where we... Oh, actually, no, it's fine. We just, we, you have to work your way backwards, right? Also, we shouldn't be mopping, because... There's still so much cleaning up to do. And we're just gonna make bloody footprints everywhere. Let's get the dynamite out of here, because I don't want to have to keep coming back in. So I can just go in there. It'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, like, doing a stupid dice review thing and then was thinking of making some of my own custom dice, which would be a little set of just awful dice. I see Fizzin. Did he get destroyed before it exploded? Maybe is the answer. Uh, yeah, so doing, um... Doing something along those, like, the lines of that, um, as... I think as time goes by, maybe, um, I don't know, just want to try like doing some different things. I think a big problem I get, uh, you know, Captain Distracto included, uh, is, you know, I, I have lots of ideas and I get, I get bored of things quickly. Um, like, um, I think it's why I have to like mix up playing, um, mix up the games that I play quite a bit, because 
to have enthusiasm to keep playing something. I need to really be into it. And so that's why, you know, there'll be certain games that will appear on the channel that, you know, they might not do the best in views, but I just love, I just love playing them. Um, and that super helps. But even just like the process of making videos, just kind of like just playing like standard games. Um, you know, I want to do, do something more bespoke. Uh, like, you know, spend spend time working on, like, a single, more high production value thing. And, you know, the... I think that would work better, better for YouTube. Um, rather than, like, you know, big, big Let's Plays, they are so 2016. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Like, it's just not the... not the format. Um... This is stuff that, like, you know, if you've watched any of the other Super Chills, you'll have heard me talk about this kind of thing before. Um, and, you know, I hope no one ever misconstrues it as, like, you know, complaining like, wah, I want more, more views. Um, like, why aren't my things getting more views? Uh, that shouldn't be the hot take at all. Um, because, yeah, like, uh... Yeah, I know. I think I'm pretty like, pretty happy, happy with how how things go, and uh, like appreciate, you know, the degree of the game that I think like to maximize my channel, you know, would play more um, like tabs. Tabs is a great example, I think, of like generally the tabs videos will do better, like you know, uh, twice as good, maybe like three times as good, four times as good as you know, episode 20 of a city builder, but kind of just got a bit burnt out on tabs. Like, felt like there was only so much, so much you could do. But the system is like, you know, you want to do lots and lots of the same things. So anyone can click on a video and know exactly what they're getting on the next one. Uh, like if you've watched one, one tabs horse, you get some variation, but you've kind of seen like what that, what that format's going to be. But people, people want to know they're tuning into like a safe, a safe watch, generally. Uh, so it's why like mixing it up, like bringing on. Oh god, I completely forgot that I was gonna explode. Oh, there's my other bombs. Uh, okay, back again. Uh, god, that really like broke my train of thought, and I didn't really have like a solid train of thought to begin with. Oh, we should be using a bucket, not. Oh, uh, well, we'll take the big stuff, and then we'll get the little guys. Man, I hope this frame rate is okay. The head bobbing is kind of a bit, like, ooh, a bit intense. Maybe it's going to make people really ill. But, you know, you're probably listening to this in the background. Um, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, like, you know, if I was going to be worrying about the, the cash side of things more, um, would do... Yeah, we'd just play more... Uh, tabs would have jumped in on the Among Us thing because have played a bunch of Among Us with um, other people and just chopping that up and throwing that out as videos would do better than you know like finding finding new games to play a lot of the time uh, just churn out churn out the good stuff um, and so yeah like don't don't think I'm uh, complaining that that stuff doesn't you know it doesn't work because. Uh, like, I appreciate what you should be doing. Oh, that guy's kind of cool. Um, but in turn, you know, maybe, um, maybe it just won't even work. Work for me. I don't know. I don't know. We're kind of just rambling. I, I sort of, like, lose my train of thought and just, like, wobble around a bit. God, is the frame rate going down? Like, okay, right. Well, um, if you're feeling ill from all the head bobbing, uh, you probably aren't still here. But it's gone now. We are fine. Do we just... I don't think we're ever going to really use the dynamite properly. Maybe there's cool stuff you can do with it. Jeez. If it, like, destroyed a lot of things, would be great. But it seems like it just kind of, like, showers the uh, the map in all of your good stuff. So, uh, where were we? Uh, someone reminds me. Perfect, thank you. We were talking about other stuff. God, where did these bodies come from? Have they always been there? You know, the, the madness of this year definitely um, kicked in. And not being able to work on, like, other weirder projects. I mean, I think just, uh, like, I'm getting, like, a little... Just a tiny little bit burnt out 
on regular stuff. Um, and so coming up in like maybe uh, oh do they not really have you? Maybe like January or uh, February time. Like I might I might kinda like take a couple of weeks off. Like record some stuff to get ahead, but there might be a little bit of a break going on. Um, and not not worry about putting anything out. Because on one side the uh, like ad revenue during that time is just a f absolute fraction of what it would be any other time in the year. Um, and so you know, if you a video that you put out in December when ad rev is uh, better, a video in January would we'll, we'll make like a tenth of the amount of money. Um, and so taking some time off, it makes sense to do it around then. Uh, hopefully, you know, lockdowns and stuff will be chilling out a little bit. And yeah, I think like just have an opportunity to just play play some other play some other games, do some other bits. You know, recharge the batteries on, you know, just things to talk about. Um, like, I think I found, like, just uh, doing solo stuff is, like, harder now. Um, I kind of, like, go a bit crazy, uh, run out of run out of talking points a lot faster. Uh, unless the, the game is giving me a lot of stimulus. Yeah, it's more difficult to keep going. It's why, like, I'm like taking a break from streaming so anyone who was watching the streams that there was like a whole load of factors that all kind of like joined up of like the internet being bad in my house um uh made streaming just an absolute nightmare uh oh come on nice the little the little shake got it in um and uh, yeah, so took a took a break from that, um, and ooh. but like, do you want to come? Definitely come back to streaming. But I think like I think I'm gonna try and move house soon as well. Um, actually, go somewhere somewhere else. I'm not entirely sure where. I've been like loosely looking, but Christmas is a, a harder time to find somewhere. Um, and yeah, if I can get somewhere with better internet. It means that, you know, working from home will be easier, um, move somewhere a bit nicer, because the place I live is kind of like a like a real cruddy, cruddy little flat. Um, and see, see how that goes. I don't know. Um, but then again, God, I hate moving house. Uh, for years, uh, just kind of lived sort of like the student lifestyle and just got into the habit of was just like moving house like every year um, or like 18 months and god it sucks uh, maybe you're someone who really likes moving house but I personally am not someone who likes moving house like I don't have like tons of stuff but the stuff I have is kind of bulky like it's boxes of Warhammer bits uh, which generally take up a lot of space and books god I own just like so many books and moving crates of books around just blows uh not very fun i think we are kind of done oh did we ever finish this room oh no okay maybe we maybe we do keep going we're already like an hour in maybe this is going to turn into a two-parter i guess it's just this room and the room down there But then that one's like the furthest away from the the good zone. Okay, well, oh god, frame rates. Let's uh, let's do that. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll mix it up. We'll do some mopping for a bit. How's that sound? We'll see if we can just get this room done. Yeah, bring like a second bucket. Although knocking over buckets, I remember being. The worse. Still a little bit worried about. Oh, oh, we got it. Uh, okay, maybe we were just 
doing it badly before. God, I swear we clicked on it and it did not work. That's fine. God, it's a good mop, man. Like, just a little dab and you just get rid of just all the bad times. Oh, okay, let's get, get second bucket going. Uh, yeah, so, well, oh, uh, come on. That's exactly what I, exactly the last thing I wanted to have happen. Okay, you get out of there. We'll get rid of you because, oh, no. Uh, you know what? A spillway there is not the end of the world. We can handle that. Okay. Come on. Uh, okay, right, we'll just, we'll do it with one bucket at a time because I think we're gonna do ourselves a disservice if we, um, kind of keep going back and forward. Are you all clean? Do you want to get the old Mr. Sniffy Nose out? Okay, well, apparently nowhere's clear. Oh, you, you dirty dog. Can we put you in the bucket? Okay, this room feels fine. I'm sure there's some glaring thing that we've missed that uh, someone's getting very upset about. But what, what's you gonna do? Oh, okay, right, bucket. You might be a bad bucket now. Or maybe we're just like hitting the wrong the wrong bit of it. Uh, we'll go up and clean that room, and then it probably isn't worth mopping up in here just in case we do go over there. Wait, where did you come from? Uh, yeah, so where what, what, what were we talking about? What's like the next next subject um, that is going? Oh, I think that's bad bucket now. Uh, please don't bonk into anything. Can we just jump? No, is the answer. But yeah, so, um, I think, like, New Year, probably gonna be trying some, like, a couple of different things out. Um, you know, hopefully, uh, we'll be able to do more multiplayer stuff. Uh, you know, I'm sure you can imagine, with lockdown, uh, it's very hard to do multiplayer things. Um, and I don't know what it is, like, I just find... Like, I need to, like, we could have looked more into it. You know, I'm definitely, I know that stuff exists out there. But, God, like, because when we record with externals, we do that over Discord. And I just find, like, every time we are, every time I use Discord, it doesn't matter, like, where people are, there's always, like, half a second to a second of delay. And, like, for me, I find that just makes it unusable for recording like it makes it really unpleasant having having a bit of delay it makes kind of conversations really stunted um you know you keep kind of like talking over each other uh stopping and starting and it just doesn't like flow and you know i think uh you know that's the the best the best part about doing you know uh multiplayer or cooperative things is, you know, the good the good bants. Uh, and so yeah, that like really kind of cut down on the amount of multiplayer even really wanted to uh, to do because we couldn't really have people in the office um, uh, like a lot of people are working from home and yeah, just uh, kind of sucked. And so probably should have looked into just getting a... Just our own, like, little audio server thing. And I guess maybe more people using Discord or something like that. Maybe you don't have that problem. Um, who knows? But, like, even doing it from the office internet where we get just hundreds of megs a second... Uh, did the... Okay, it's the... I think the shotgun shell is just in the bucket. Okay, up there's looking good. Uh, should we do the stairs? Looks alright. Am I supposed to take those baubles down? 
Okay, well, we're going to be, um... I am supposed to take them down. I know I'm getting blood on the floor, but... We... God damn it. Where did you go? Do you do pieces? Uh, yeah, so just the audio audio stuff was just a pain. Um, didn't really like doing it. Uh, it's one of the reasons why we stopped doing the Chiluminati, because that was basically all just fun chatting times. But it made it really, like, awkward for us to do. Um, and it didn't, it wasn't as fun, it didn't flow very well, and so, yeah, we just kind of, like, put a, put a halt to it until we could do it back in the studio more regularly together again. Um, and then, yeah, I guess just, God, like, time, time kept passing, the year gets away with you. Oh, no, my bucket. And, uh, yeah, just took a break. Okay, like, you're basically good, upstairs is pretty good. Uh, we'll not worry about that bit. Uh, the floor over there. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess maybe, maybe this is a good place to sort of wrap it up. And, um, we'll do the rest in, uh, Super Chill Part 2 of just more rambling. Um, I'm going to record it all in one go, so uh, I won't be able to respond to anyone's thoughts or comments, but I hope you guys have enjoyed the ramble off. And next, on the next one, we'll talk about podcasts and role-playing games and things like that. How does that sound? Amazing. See you soon. Goodbye.